from small towns in rural Appalachia to the streets of Los Angeles and lands in between far and near. He made it his mission to not only touch lives, but to change them for the better. Remote Area Medical's founder and president, Stan Brock, passed away today. The CEO of RAM tells us that Brock suffered a stroke in recent days. And until this, there was nothing that could stop Brock from helping others. We want to look back on how he grew his mission from a small effort to make change to an organization that made waves. No! Whether they swoop into a remote third world village, a bustling metropolitan city, or a rural Appalachian town, the mission of Remote Area Medical is always the same. There's a notice on my office wall that says, never forget the mission. And the mission is to treat people and to help people. Over the course of nearly three decades, 84,000 RAM volunteers have given the gift of free medical care to those who simply can't afford it. Total to date, 600,000 people. Para, 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 para. RAM founder Stan Brock remembers their simple start, a couple of hundred dollars in the bank and a handful of volunteers. I think Ben Birdwell, um, a local dentist, uh, uh, provided us with a 400-pound dental chair, and a couple of us strong guys put the dental chair in the back of the Suburban, and we went up to uh, uh, Sneedville, Tennessee. On that first expedition in the U.S. back in 1991, RAM volunteers treated 150 people. These days, thousands of people line up, willing to wait overnight wherever RAM goes. A 2007 expedition to Wise County, Virginia was a turning point for RAM. It was featured in the New York Times Magazine. The images caught the attention of then 60 Minutes anchor Scott Pelley. He shared RAM's mission with the rest of the world. People started taking notice. We started getting some donations and, uh, and now uh, we've kind of come a long way, haven't we? Now their donations have soared into the millions, allowing the organization to move from a tiny former Knox County school to a 55,000 square foot headquarters. Transport trucks crisscross the country with medical equipment and supplies in tow. This vehicle behind us here can make 400 pairs of, of, of eyeglasses in one day. Ram's recent notoriety and growth is leading to a restructure. Brock says its two boards are merging into one for efficiency and the search is on for its first CEO to manage the day-to-day -day business. Brock's role remains the same. My position here as the founder of this organization uh, has always been uh, the president and the chairman of the board and, and continues to be. Brock says with more resources, they can treat even more people, keeping true to its mission from day one. Our family members right around here in southeast Kentucky and southwest Virginia. Uh, we owe it to those people to do the best that we can for them. And we can safely say he indeed did that. It wasn't just the people who attended those clinics that came to love and appreciate Brock. Those fortunate enough to serve alongside him and follow his journey also felt his sheer force of good.